Hey guys, welcome to Pine Tree Line. My name is Doug, and today on the channel, we're gonna have a look at this. This is the Rhino Rescue Adventure Mini First Aid Kit. I won this at work in a health and safety contest, and I wanted to share the contents of it with you, and we can see together if this is a viable option for adventure or camping or what have you uh, in terms of first aid when we go out there in the woods. Having a look at the pack from the the outside, yeah, you have some Velcro here, got some webbing here, what they call a uh, Molly webbing. And the nice thing about the webbing is you can, you know, you can stick stuff in here and hang stuff off here if you wanted uh, to use a carabiner or something like that, you could do that as well. Uh, with the hook and loop, we do have a Rhino Rescue cross indicating first aid. We do have a piece of hook and loop here. So if you wanted to attach something in here, number of options on the front of the bag. If you look at the top here, we have a nice handle, nice good size handle. I can fit my, my hand in there. Looking at the back side, we have a belt here, which is like nylon, like a seat belt material, strong. And that gives you an option to clip this onto the back of something, either a pack, or if you want to use it in your vehicle, or you can pretty much clip it onto anything and this strap is adjustable. We also have a couple of straps here. We do have some webbing back here as well. A couple of uh, D-rings up top here. Only your imagination can kind of stop you from the things you want to do. Very well made. You're probably familiar, if you're looking at this, you're probably familiar maybe with this kind of denier fabric. The other nice thing about this too is uh, it's got a rip away back. So the advantage of the ripaway back is if you did have it fastened to um, the back of your seat in a vehicle or something of that nature, you could just rip it using the handle and rip it right off while this is uh, this part is secured around something. We got two zippers, reverse zippers here. It does have a drain hole in the bottom here. So two-way zipper, we'll open it up. and. So we got a first aid manual. So we have a uh, CPR face shield, which is good. You want to protect yourself. If you're administering uh, CPR, you're blowing air into your patient. However, they're not uh, able to exhume anything into your mouth. So there's a one-way valve. I can feel the valve on there without opening it. We have some medical tape. So this is a wire saw. This is a, a, an adventure kit, so it's it's meant for survival and first aid. Uh, you're getting a whistle, an elastic bandage. We have a glow stick, safety pins. We have a honking set of tweezers, uh, an additional glow stick, a survival uh, bracelet with a compass, and the survival bracelet is made of paracord. And the beauty of paracord is you can undo this and undo the strands of paracord, and you can do a lot of stuff with it. Having the, that in the woods is uh, very handy. In here, yeah, so we got a knife there. Having uh, the ability to have a cutting tool in the woods is very, very important. So here we have a ferro rod with a striker. There we go. We have a number of zip ties in here. And zip ties are super functional no matter where you are for lashing things together or anything. We have a flashlight and there's no batteries in here, but it takes three AAA batteries, it looks like. Another elastic bandage. We haven't put the contents together in the first aid kit, I'm just showing you what's in it. And then I have a bunch of stuff on this. Under this side, so uh, we have a triangular bandage. Great for uh, collarbone injury, broken arm, anything like that. Uh, triangular bandage is so multifunctional. You can use it to, to stop bleeding. You can use it to uh, you know, secure any type of body part, really. Super effective, super uh, useful. You'll learn that in first aid. We have an emergency blanket, antiseptic swabs as well as soap wipes, cleaning wounds, very important. Infection is the worst thing. We have some burn gel. We have some sting relief. 
also effective, especially here in Northern Ontario. A lot of things are stinging these days. Horse flies, deer flies, mosquito bites. Stuff gets infected, stuff burns, stuff itches. So you get a nice relief there. Oh, this is just like a, a poncho. Again, in case we get to uh, have to make a shelter, you can shelter yourself with a poncho quite easily. Wound compress. These are uh, pretty thin. However, you can start with one and add as needed for uh, a cut to stop bleeding. What's nice about these is uh, the flattened edge here which is why they're first aid scissors so you can get this uh, against the skin because of the flat edge here but this is great for uh, cutting off clothing if need be in, your, in order to get to a cut or uh, a severe wound we've got a whole bunch of bandages regular bandages of two sizes we've got uh, some knuckle bandages fingertip bandages and uh, some bigger a couple of bigger bandages another smaller wound compress a big wound compress for a bigger wound which is nice and again you can start with this you can add uh, a smaller wound compress you can get in and use your triangular bandage if you had to um, I mean you can use your shirt if you need to stop bleeding lots of options uh, dry burn dressing good with the uh, burn gel for relief put the dressing on important to keep infection out of a burn so that's great to have so that's a little bit thicker another bigger wound compress we have some uh, moleskin this is perfect for any kind of injury you might get in the back of your heels from a new pair of shoes or any kind of blister you might develop on your feet especially that's where these things come in handy they're kind of it's kind of pre-cut so you could just pop it out different uh, different sizes that is it having options to clean a wound uh, to treat a wound I like it I think uh, I think it's pretty good I think for what you're paying for this kit uh, from what I understand these things run about 39 bucks US for what you're getting all the stuff you're getting that's a lot of peace of mind for a very low price in my opinion I think you're getting a lot of different options for any kind of situation not just survival and first aid but sometimes stuff breaks and you need um, you know, to fasten something or lash something, you can use these for that. Your saw breaks, you're out in the woods and you can't make a fire, you need something, you can use this to help you out as well. You go over every piece of this kit and find a good reason to use it in the way it's supposed to be used in emergency situations. Also in just regular situations where you just need, you know, you forgot your knife and all of a sudden you have a backup in your kit. The only thing that would concern me about this is a little bit is the weight. I think some people like to make a more streamlined, lighter first aid kit. And I get that because I've done it myself. But the nice thing about this kit, just take this, this off and not use that. And there's a lot, there's enough weight in this, you know, this makes it a lot lighter. Anyways, guys, I just wanted to have a first look at this. If you have first aid skills, if you have camping skills or survival skills, all these things allow you, all this knowledge is what allows you to look at this and be able to decide if this is something that would meet your needs. I encourage you, the, the best thing you do is, you know what, spend 40 bucks on this kit, you get a lot out of it, but you're a lot better served than spending a, a little bit more money and taking some courses taking first aid, taking advanced first aid, learning about um, how these things are used and why they're used, why you need to clean, you know, wounds and stuff like that. Uh, the worst thing that can happen, in my opinion, uh, in a medical situation and you're a long ways from home is if a wound gets infected and starts to get septic, you know, you're looking at a life and death situation big time. So learning the skills that go with this stuff makes this stuff a lot more interesting. So Get out there, learn about first aid, get your first aid. It'll be helpful in every walk of your life. You can help yourself, family member, or you know a stranger for that. Looking at this, Rhino Rescue, nice kit, great price. I encourage you to uh, maybe get one of these. I have no affiliation with this. 
I won in a contest. I'm just saying, it's a nice kit. All right, guys. We'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.